What's up guys, McCaddy here. Uh, today we're doing another PU battle. Um, I don't know if you can hear the difference, but I've actually moved the mic off to the other side just because my computer was making a bit of noise. Uh, apologies if you can hear it in those last uh, four episodes. Um, but yeah, hopefully this should make a bit of a difference. So, um, so looking at this guy's team, he's got a Zeb Striker, most likely choiced. Um, Octillery, no, I don't see that very often. Um, especially defensive Noctowl, physically defensive Bastiodon, most likely is his defensive core. Um, Go Goat is, I don't know, normally they're either sub seed or, um, you know, bulk up, and Toxic Old Plarion. So, um, I'm just going to leave a baller, you know, standard, usual, <laughs> usual play. So, he leaves the Bastiodon. Um, I think I'm just going to go for a taunt on this turn, just to um, stop him setting up the rocks as always. That's what they always invariably do. Um, and then, luckily he's not, he's not got any ghost types, so um, explosion may be a bit more useful. Um, in terms of, he's got no immunities to water, he's got one resistance to, well, two resistances to water, sorry. But then the Go Goat gets taken out by either an Ice Punch or an Air Slash. Most likely, I've got to watch out with that Zeb Strike just in case it's scarfed. Um, this one comes out. I am tempted to go for a Thunder this. I'm going to go for a Thunder this turn, just to get the damage off. Hope I paralyze it, and then um, fingers crossed. Yeah, I get the para. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, and just keep going and then just explode on this as well. Unfortunately, I don't know how much use the rain is going to be. Oh, Hornage does a lot. Okay. Um, I think it's time just to explode. And that means he can't heal up on me as well. And um, this thing being paralysed makes quite a bit of difference as well. So he goes for the bulk up. Hmm. So I've still got, no, no, I've got one turn of rain left. Um, that Zeb Striker's going to be quite a big problem. I can see already. Well, why don't I go into, I can go out into Tiny Tim. I can like, encore him into um, Bulk Up. Set up the rain and then um, hopefully uh, you turn out from there. So let's encore him into uh, Go-Go. If he goes out into... He doesn't really have any fast sweepers. If he goes into Flareon, um, I don't know, he's just going to stay in. Okay, so I've got a choice. I can either U turn now, and um, or I can set up Rain. To be honest, I think Rain is probably more beneficial than getting Switch Initiative at the minute. Okay, so he does stay in. Well, now I can U-turn out, and I think Mantine is probably the best bet from here. But I need to stop <laughs> overestimating how much um, damage Mantine's going to be doing, because it seems to be costing me <laughs> one or two matches. So, um, Owen comes out. Uh, should have one more turn of Encore. Oh, no, he doesn't. I should kill from here, unless I miss. Which is a very, which is a possibility, and knowing my luck, a very good one. <laughs> um, Hands piece is switch here. Yeah, he just sacks it. I imagine this Seb Striker is going to come out. The question is, hmm. So I've got 480 speed. So he would need. Hmm, it's a very difficult call. Because I'm going to have to deal with this at some point, this is the problem. And this is the only time I'm going to get some real good damage off it, because all the rest of mine will be struggling to beat this. I really don't want to just sack this for no reason. Um, the rest of my team do handle the rest of his team reasonably well. I can't see this being too much use. I'm going to go for a Scald. I think... I may still outspeed. Yeah, 
And oh, I one shot. That's fine. <laughs> this time I'm underestimating the power of Erwin. <laughs> oh, only four fits. Okay. Um, look at Ty. Yeah, we'll do one more for this um this match. So um he leaves and I win the battle. So um yeah, we'll just go on. Just do another one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is a um actually a subscriber of mine that I've managed to bump into. <laughs> so that's really nice. Um <laughs> oh, did he, oh I didn't realise he sent a message on Skype. Um I'll just quickly say to him Just say sorry. Um I'll just let him know I'm recording as well. Right, so looking at his team, he's got a uh, bulky bastard on. Um, uh, Manti. Um, most likely just sort of either default, bulky defog maybe. Um, oh god, Mega Glalie, Scarf Rampardos, Raichu, and Rapidash. So I think Baller is probably the uh, best lead here. Um, and. Anticipate the bastard on lead. Oh, we're actually leading. Okay. Well, I'm going to set up rain on this guy. And um, I can't think of a move that he's got that's going to really do much. Um, so we'll have to see. Uh, I imagine... He may, he may just Volt Switch out, to be honest. He doesn't really have too much to hit me. Um, let's see. He may, be, he may go out to the Mantine now. That's the only issue. But then, now my Mantine has Hidden Power Electric. Which I decided to keep. That may pay off. Okay, so the Glalie comes out. So, from here, I think a Thunder is the best bet. I should outspeed, um, hopefully get the para, and um, an Ice Shard from here shouldn't kill. So I don't think there's any way, unless he's, <laughs> unless he's Scarf Glalie or something crazy like that. Even then, I don't think I'd be, he'd be able to take me out. So, um... Let's see, we'll have to see what he goes for. Um, I don't, don't know what he's going to... He's probably just going to try and go for a return or something like that. To try and take me out. But, um... That's the advantage of having quite a lot of speed investment with my um, electrode is that actually... I do end up, um... At speeding, so thunder... Ooh, does a good amount. And I get the para. Ooh. So he goes for the EQ. Um... So now I'm going to go out into um, I want to take advantage of this rain. Because it's only this still got four three tons of rain left. So um Erwin's gonna yeah, send Erwin out. And I'm going to actually air slash. Am I? Am I going to air slash? No, I'm not going to air slash. Because even um, if the uh, Raichu does come in, no, not Raichu, so the Mantine does come in, I've got HP Electric, hopefully a lot speed. Yeah, yeah. It's something I had to, had to risk. So HP Electric, hopefully he's not running it, and hopefully he's not max speed. <laughs> Lots of hopefullys. So is mine a sh I think mine's a shiny man time, or, may or is his a shiny, I'm not sure. Let's just see. Okay, so he's more of a defensive set. That's that's quite interesting. So um, he sets up the Aqua Ring, which um, I've never really seen before. I guess it's the advantage of PU, you can <laughs> do what you want, really. Um, so let's see. It's the HP. Yeah. Um, Squad's just going to... Oh, am I not water? Oh, no, I'm Swift Swim, aren't I? Duh. <laughs> So, I'm going to just keep him Power Electric again. Fortunately, the rain's come down. So, um, the Raichu's going to probably be the thing to come in. But now the Mantine's out of the way. 
Um, even if Raichu comes back in, I'm still going to probably go out into the Volbeat and uh, just set up the rain again. Yeah, it's probably, it probably is going to be the Raichu. But now that we know how much damage... Oh, Glade... Mm, okay. Uh, well, I'm going to Scald here. Because I, sh I shoot out speed. I don't think an Ice Shard's really going to do that much. If he's got it. No, he hasn't got it. So, Okay. So, the... Um, I anticipate the Raichu. Because, obviously, all of these are weak to water. So, um, and he can just Volt Switch off this. But um, even if he does Volt Switch, he's invariably going to probably go out to maybe Rapidash. If I send in the Volbeat. But that's not too much of a problem, because then I can I can still set up the Rain. And then the Rain will help me, hopefully, take a hit. And, um, yes, yeah, so the Raichu. Let's see if this plays out. So I go out into Tiny Tim. He's going to Volt Switch out. I'll set up the Rain. Maybe live. And then if I do live, then I can get a nice T-Wave off, which would be good. So Volt switches out. No, I'm not going to survive one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not. And even though I'm physically defensive, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to. Oh, it's the Rampardos. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, I'm going to Rain Dance because that gives me another opportunity to go out into Mantine. And um, we'll just see because I can Rain Dance. Oh, the Rock Project. Well, I can encore you into that. <laughs> I anticipated him to be scarfed, actually, uh, more than anything. Yeah, I guess the row. I've never really tried. I've never really tried Rampardos. If Rampardos got Rockhead, then um, it would be excellent. But um, I'm going to U-turn here. I know either he's going to switch, or I've got enough turns on encore to actually still take him out. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So he is going to stay in and rock polish. Well, that gives me another opportunity to get out into Erwin. And Tiny Tim should be able to take another um, another oh, Volt Switch as well, which is nice. And I've still got five turns of rain left as well, which is good. So out comes the Rapidash. I see he's just sacking it off. Um, I should outspeed the Raichu now as well, so actually, there's no point me swapping out. So I think his only bet is to go out into Bastiodon, take, hit me on the Sturdy, and then if he's got Metal Burst, take me out from there? Yeah. So, I know what he's going to do, but I think Scald is still the best option. Yeah, I think, he, I think he's seen that um, it probably is GG from here. So the school brings him down to sturdy. Uh, unfortunately, I burn him, which is a shame. The metal burst comes out. Yeah, takes me out. But now, um, I've still got four turns of rain left. So actually, I'm going to go out into Polyrath. I could go out into um, Gesundheit, but... I think Gesundheit might be good just as a final, just in case I can Ice Shard whatever's left. If he does manage to get up a Rock Polish, which I'm pretty sure he won't. So, I should still outspeed because Raichu's max is 350, unless he's Scarfed, but I don't think he is. So, we're going for a, um, it's most likely, most like most times they're Specs, just because they just don't have enough, like good enough stats to actually hit stuff very well. So um, yeah, by the looks of things, it's GG from here. Uh, GG. Um, yeah, so the Rampardos um, is not going to outspeed me. Waterfall should be a one-hit KO. And... Um, that sh yeah, this should be the end of it. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, yeah, stay posted for the next one. See you later. If you enjoyed the video and want to keep up with my latest content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Carry out.